I, I just want to take a moment to speak to uh, the former chairwoman's uh, uh, thought about unity. Mm, this is um, your camera. Right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. um, the unity thing is a two-way street. And you don't have unity when you refer to Republicans like me as a rhino who's been in this party for over 50 years. You don't have unity when you disavow and, 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 and break apart the very foundations of a once proud party based on the principles and ideas of Lincoln and Eisenhower and Reagan and Bush. Uh, you don't create, you know, this, this space for unity when you allow authoritarian, white nationalism, illiberal behavior to overwhelm and consume mm -hmm. the very foundations of your party. So y'all need to check the unity conversation amongst yourselves first before you bring it to others, because that's where the disunity is. It's not, it's not with me. I was doing just fine. To your behind showed up with stupid. Oh, oh, see, it was elevated. And then... So I was doing just fine. We were just, I was winning elections, right? What did you do? Well, I mean, you know, we made a, a public policy mm -hmm. case on Obamacare, right? We made a public po policy ca case on foreign policy. We haven't been making any public policy cases on anything. We've just been showboating. You allow, you allow Marjorie Taylor Greene to show up in the House and disrespect your own house and wear the Republican brand by wearing some dumb behind cap on her head? So come on, folks. Let's be real about what it is and what it isn't. And what it isn't is what the stuff that myself and a lot of others have been fighting for. Look, I'm at a table with, with people that I would love to engage on public policy about, but we're talking about your dumb, stupid stuff. Right? So this is the reality that you put us in. So unity, it's a two-way street. Y'all need to work on your end of the block because it's messed up as hell. There, ooh, Michael Steele. Can I just say, you know what, when, um, you know, I have, a, I have two older brothers and a younger sister, and when we used to get in trouble, my daddy would line us up and then give us a speech. You know, my mother would whoop us, and every now and then he would give us a, whoop, <laughs> a physical whooping, but this the words. And sometimes when you just get that talking to... You just you just gave them that you know that verbal molly wop. Right. And, uh... <laughs> but it's so it's, but it's important to understand, folks. I mean, you know, a lot of you know, everybody's talking about the Nikki Haley uh, voters. What well, those those are Republicans who are mad at the situation we find ourselves in. I mean, it's it's not it's not a faction of of Republicans. It's like Republicans trying to you know go and engage against the Biden administration on big ideas in the direction of the country but we can't because we got Marjorie Taylor Greene wearing a dumb hat and looking silly and and everybody applauding that and Donald Trump hanging out with an authoritarian acting like you know you know that's his new boo pile and and the rest of us sitting there going uh can we do something other than this and you've shown you can't you can't do anything other than this cuz you don't know how and you're what all everybody's doing now, right now, is just lining up. When can I endorse Trump? When can I endorse Trump? Y'all do that. Alicia, the rest of I us will just edges, defeat them. That's all. If I had edges, they would be snatched. And we'll work on, <laughs> we'll work on unity edges. after we set Trump's behind down. We'll work on unity then because we can't get it done <gasps> oh, no. as long as he's in the room. Oh, Jesus. Can't get hot. it done. Mm. So.